In the end time, God will be looking for overcomers. People that survived. People that decided not to function according to the principles of darkness that have been accepted. Oh, we may have a need. But I cannot go beyond saying, if God has not moved on your heart, if God has moved on your heart, you can make a donation. If I go beyond that, I have entered another principle I am manipulating. And there are many ways we can manipulate to raise money. Once you are using the principles of Jezebel, the presence of Jezebel will soon be tabernacled in the center of your activity. And it, at, 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 at a point, what will be driving the affairs of the emphasis will be mammon. Because mammon can masquerade as a being, a creature that demands human worship. It can derail a pastor, derail a ministry. It doesn't matter if he has a title or is 50 years old behind the pulpit. Demons invaded our civilization because most of our fathers went to America to receive substance for their ministry. The time they went to America, the revival in America was waning and Jesus had left. So the things they copied and brought down here is what is responsible for our derailing. Our ancestors found God in the mountains of prayer. They did not learn from conferences and seminars. They had encounters firsthand like Isaiah on the mountain top. They learned how to seek the face of God. The only man you can follow and be secure is a man that is following Christ as his unique goal. He's desperate. He's desperate. The only example he looks upon is Jesus. The only example he breathes and lives just to make Jesus proud. That's the only man you can follow and be safe. If you follow a philosopher, you will end up with demons of philosophy. Jesus never, never preached any motivational message. Never. We are, we are victims. We are victims of an invasion. We didn't know that Satan had taken over. And right now we cannot differentiate the spirit of God because other spirits are in our space. Other spirits. We receive miracles from fire spirits. We have received children from water spirits. And everybody comes to testify. The land is polluted. Our prayers are hindered by the Prince of Persia. There's no penetration in the spirit. Everybody's crying. The land is parched. Darkness everywhere. We bury our children every day, every other day. Meanwhile, the God of the Bible was known as a champion. A champion whose might was revealed in the day of battle. You will never know Jehovah until there is a battle. What happened to the church in Nigeria? What happened to the church? The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 12 And prayers were made by the church One angel was sent into the city in the night Brought Peter out of chains Say your time has not yet come The voice of your people has ascended And I'm assigned the guy thought he was in a vision and he wanted to just escape and go he said no 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 this is not a rescue strategy it's a red carpet recession carry your agbada carry it wear it wear it don't be in a hurry there was majesty 
in his deliverance. There was glory, honor. In his, don't run naked. Hey! This is not an escape. The great monarch of Zion requested that your bounds should be loose. Even in his deliverance, there was honor. What happened to the church in Nigeria? Is it not that Jezebel became our instructor? The philosophy is drawn from witchcraft have become the principles by which we operate. A senior minister in another city. Are you with me? Are you there? A senior minister in another city is angry that God has raised another preacher many states away from where his ministry base is. You are not with me. I have seen things. I have seen resistance from my brethren. The people that are supposed to be custodians of the things of God. I found a civil war locking in our camp. These were not products of the witness of Jesus. Many have begun to hear the whispers of Jezebel. And there is corruption in the land. And so Jesus comes to the church in Nigeria and he says, He that overcometh. It's no longer a congregation, I think. It's now personal. Whereas he said before, He that has ears, let him hear. He came to the book of Revelation and said, He that has an ear. It's not plural anymore. It is now singular. Do you have an ear? Because the overcomers are those people that have an ear. Not to hear what God is saying in their lives, but to hear what God is saying to the churches. They know the direction that the body of Christ is supposed to go. They know the direction that God is going in their time. It, I'm not talking about people that are con convenient because they are prospering. They are making money. So they say, okay, I'm okay. No. There were people like David that cried out and said, he's living in a panelled house and the ark of God dwells in a tent. Your denomination might be prospering, but is the work of God in your territory prospering? People's eyes have been closed to the things of the kingdom in the territory. The states where we hold the biggest camp meetings, the governors there are sons of the bondwoman. So our gatherings of millions never shifted anything in the spiritual realm. Don't tell me what we have is the church. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because what we have is powerless territorially. Jesus in the days of his flesh did not have a pulpit. What we call his ministry were things that were done under normal life circumstances. He finds someone going for a barrier and they are singing songs of mourning. And he just comes and touches the coffin and said to the dead, Arise. He comes to where Jairus' daughter is, dead. And so dead that the mourners are outside. He said, Put everyone out. They can mourn outside. Talita Kumi! Rise. He spoils burials, cleanses lepers in the marketplaces, teaches people on the rocks. There was no auditorium. And he brought about an urban renewal. Just one teacher that had signs and wonders. The marvel that is doctrine for his words were with power. Oh! They were amazed and wondered how that he gives commands to demons and they obey him what happened to the christianity of nigeria christianity today and church today is about marketing management and customer care and the beast that has been moving in our land for many years is still taking blood what happened to the power of our prayers? How will salvation come to our people? 
Where is the might of our God? When Jesus passes, he cries. He that overcometh. That's what he's crying to the Nigerian church. Who is he that will pay the price? Not to be like the circumstances. Not to be a man of unclean lips because the people are people of unclean lips. But to rise beyond the standard and blaze with the fire of Jesus. If you can feel what I'm talking about, it's time to pray. Can we pray for five minutes? Return, return, that we might look upon thee. Return, 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 return. Return. A time came. We were so depressed that we needed comedians. Comedians to make us laugh. Because our God is a comical figure. Return, return. That we may look upon thee. That we may look upon thee. That we may look upon thee. Tell it cause case of salam on in bread that he can ask of a lami, seek of press of fatala. Our ancestor, Pa Elton, he prophesied an era in which righteousness will dwell in Nigeria. Have the utterances of our ancestors failed? Did the prophets lie to us? Return, return, that we might look upon you. Santo Bellina Caprescu Fetala Moncombolo. Semina in Compe. Zuke baboski tamendo broko salato i kabrei la kupe la kiske esine kembo bosa kame na iko preski. Abru mina siko bande kuria besku fetami zaminonde kopre kabaske ta kompelai i kanze se i kama kombaski. Return that we might look upon you. Oh, oh, Sile me me ke malika mo. Amen ayo salama. Amen azisa sesela. Ikamo, ikamo, salako balima. Suame breske fele, sulamante li akamo. Ikamo, kamo. If God be God, then will be his miracles that our fathers told us. Will be his dominating signs and wonders. Shelly Kelema says, O pray. Amen. I 
Samina Kuba Sale Say Nabo Mamana Say Mamo Mumu Salima Koske Sasalanto di Kamalama. If God be God, where be his wonder? Where be his signs? Ayele kosa si amu agambe la mina He that overcome it Jamina kose sa ilamu sinoku binali Amana za komana Komana Come on, I owe.